Okay, welcome to Wayne's World Garage. Today, we're changing the secondary fuel filter on the General Motors two-cycle diesel engine. It's a GM 471 engine, and it operates a Frick sawmill at the local fairgrounds. Last week, we changed the primary filter and the oil filter, and uh, we cleaned the air filters. This week, we're doing the secondary filter. For All right, guys, good morning. Welcome to Wayne's World Garage. Today, we're gonna change the secondary fuel filter on this GM 471 engine. And uh, we ran it this year at the fair. It's at the local fairground. It's a great machine. And just before I do that, let me give you a little quick overview of what we have here. I've done this before. It runs once a year. So Phil and I, um, thankfully, changed the oil in this thing. It takes five gallons of oil. Straight weight oil, SAE 40 oil. And uh, that seems to make it very happy. So we put in almost five gallons. It was four gallons and maybe three quarts. We got these two air filters. This thing didn't run for more than 15 hours this year. There's one here and one over here. <coughs> They're oil bath filters. The oil was pretty clean, although there's a lot of bugs in there. These little stink bugs came in when we were running it. So got those guys straightened out. So we've got here the primary fuel filter, as you can see, that's a Napa 3118. Okay, the secondary fuel filter is up here. I couldn't get the part number off it originally, so we didn't change that one out. Okay, but this is the 471 engine. This is the supercharger. So this thing here, forced induction for the air. It's kind of cool. Mechanically driven off here and pressurizes the system because it's a two cycle engine. And you'll hear it as a two cycle engine. That's why they call it the screaming Jimmy because it screams and it does, it does run quite well. Shocking how well it runs. On the other side of it, here's where the oil filter goes. We changed that. It's still a little bit loose, I gotta check that. I put a new oil gauge on it because the one before didn't do anything. Um, this one seems to work. And uh, here we go. So it's called, like I said, a 471. It's four cylinders, 71 cubic inches per cylinder. And, it, and that's uh, whatever that is, four times seven, something like 280, 284 cubic inches of diesel power. And it just, it just runs like a tank. So let me see if we can get this bad boy started. So before we uh, change the filter out, what I want to do is double check, just get it running first to get the engine warm so that if we have any air in the system, at least I'll be starting a warm engine. And it'll be much happier camera. So it looks like we got positive right here. This right here. That. And then we got ground wire here somewhere. Right here. Now people look at this thing and laugh at it. People laugh at this. The Genius Pro Boost, whatever you want to call it. And they laugh because this will never start this thing. And okay, well, let's see if it does. There we go. So we hold this button down like I just did. Now it says 12.3 volts. Okay, um, what it really wants to do is see 12 volt battery, some voltage before it turns on. But you can push this button down, hold it for a couple seconds, and then you're good to go. So, then we come back here. Hopefully you can see this. Push this and see if it starts. And this thing has not run in a couple weeks. People laugh at it because uh, that little battery charger, they say, I think it'll never run. But when I bought it, they told me it'll jump start a Mack truck. I don't think it'll jump start a Mack truck, but it does work pretty well. And it was cheaper at the local battery shop than, than uh, Amazon or Fleabay. Been walking over here. Check the oil pressure, 48 pounds of pressure. Just get a little bit of, just get a little bit of heat in the block. And once I get a little bit of heat in the block, it'll be happy camper and it'll probably start up very well when I change a filter. 
So I'm gonna let it run for a second while I do this. But just to hear what this thing sounds like, this thing is, is awesome. tractor pulling sled while I let that warm up what I will do what I always do is I take my little filters and I will put today's date on them and I will fill it full of fresh fluid so let me see how that works out it may not work out but we'll see So inside this jug is diesel fuel, not Rotella 15W40. We took some diesel fuel out of it last time and we changed it. All right, so this bad boy's up to temperature now, a couple of degrees at least. It's a diesel engine, so it doesn't generate heat, so it'll never get up to temperature with no load. But it's got a little bit of warmth in it. Tell you what, if that doesn't get you excited, if that engine running does not get you excited, you have a problem and should not be watching this channel. So, now let's see how this goes. You can see the little filters up here, and I believe it's pretty loose already. Oops, righty tighty lefty loosey, dumbass. And so now let me try to put this thing down here where we can actually see what's going down all right so you missed it i just put the filter on not a lot of rocket science let's turn this guy on hold this button down you hold this button down it says 12.3 volts so it's important when you do this is to fill this thing full of diesel fuel Otherwise, it's going to suck air into the system and you will be an unhappy camper the rest of your life trying to bleed the air out of it. So, let's hope. Hope's not a plan, but let's hope it starts. Nothing, honey. Why have I got nothing? Because my wire came off. All right, let's make this up in here. There we go. Hot wire on, power and hold. Does uh, that? for a couple minutes and we'll turn it off but uh there you go 
Two cycle engine, supercharged. You gotta love it. Just love the sound of that thing. Oh my god. Alright. Well that's it for today. We're done changing the oil in this engine. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Hit the thumbs up button and please subscribe. I'm trying to crack the YouTube secret code to get gazillions of subscribers and uh, have something go viral. This should go viral. As I said, if this doesn't make you excited, a supercharged diesel engine, the Screaming Jimmy. It's awesome.